Hello, and welcome to Inflatable Sup Authority's review of the Tower Yachtsman, which is very similar to the Tower Adventurer 2. Today we'll be going through the features, how I kind of like the board, as well as what actually comes with it. And spoiler alert, this is what comes with it. Now before we go on, please smash that like button and subscribe to get more content just like this for informed viewers like yourself. Stay tuned. Who is the Tower Yachtsman for? The Yachtsman was originally made for people who own boats and want something to accompany the boat whenever they are anchor to just kind of fool around with. But it's also used for beginners, very light touring purposes because of its pointed nose, and people who are on a little bit more of a budget that don't want to waste their whole bank account on a paddleboard. Now, in the previous video I said that this board is very similar to the Adventure 2. So what are the main differences? The main differences are that the Yachtsman has a towing D-ring on the bottom, which I will show later in the video. And the Adventure 2 has deck rigging, so you can actually carry stuff. Fortunately, the Yachtsman does not have deck rigging on there. So if you have water bottles, backpacks, this may not be the best board for you unless you put your own custom deck rigging on it. When you purchase the Tower Yachtsman, it comes with a double action pump, which I'll kind of show right here. There's a little switch where you can go from double pump to single pump action. This is used whenever you're pumping the board. You start off with double to get the most amount of air out of the pump. And then as soon as you get close to about 10 PSI or so, you switch it to the single, like that. It also comes with a repair kit. As you can see in there, it has a valve wrench, it has patches, and it also, it says on the website it doesn't come with glue, but this one comes with glue for some reason. And a fin, which is a hook design which I'll show installing in a sec here. And then finally, of course, is the board and the paddle. Now the paddle blade is made of ABS plastic, while the shaft is made of fiberglass. So you can kind of see the looks of it. But I do like the design of this paddle, how it is kind of cup shaped, you can kind of see that. It's kind of nice because you can really scoop the water while you're paddling. And it also is about two pounds weight. And now we'll start the inflation process. Simply just connect the hose to the board, like I'll show here. Have, make sure the pin is up. And just put it in there and twist. So it's secure, and now you start pumping. So, as soon as it starts getting a little more difficult to pump, what you do is there will be a little switch right here. So you just switch that to single pump and that makes it easier to pump. Now you set up the paddle. So you do just simply this guy in here, make sure that that pin is down and it connects into there like that. You'll hear that clicking noise. Then you adjust it to your height. So you unclip this part and go up. Now a lot of paddle boarders will recommend that you have it like this, so your wrist being parallel. But I usually like to have it a little bit higher. It's more a personal preference for me. See what kind of works for you and adjust from there. And then now that you have your paddle height out, you're ready to go. And now you simply just make sure that this hook goes in there. So you place the fin in like this and make sure it slides, push this down. And then this little pin will go in through here and you clip it and the fin is sturdy. Now we'll be doing the nose to tail specs on the Tower Yachtsman. 
So starting with the nose, you can see that we have handy little grab handle here. Pick the board up and down. The board is actually 26 pounds. You have that nice little tower logo over there. Next you have that Yachtsman deck pad, followed by a carry handle in the middle, which has a bit of neoprene over it to make it a little bit nicer on your hands. Towards the back, you'll have the little inflation slash deflation valve and a carry handle at the back, as well as a D-ring too, just for like a sup leash and things like that. The Tower Adventure 2 is 10 feet long, four inches. It weighs 26 pounds, so it's not too bad. You can see me kind of pick it up. It's not terrible. It's a decent weight. It is also 32 inches wide and six inches thick. And it's mostly made for solo paddlers, but at its 400 pound maximum capacity, you can have someone in the front, like a small kid, a dog. If there's two adults, maybe both of you sitting, standing may not work so well for this. And it's an overall all round board, a little bit of a touring profile at the front, but it's mostly used for people the boats um, that just want to do kind of like a day paddling, etc. Okay, so what are my overall impressions about the on water performance of the tower? Yachtsman slash Tower Adventure 2, because they're the same board essentially. Um, it's pretty good. Like for its price, I'd say, yeah, uh, if you're on a budget. This would be a pretty good board to have. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's the stablest board around, but I think a beginner can definitely learn on it. Like, to be honest, for like all my years on earth here, uh, my balance has always been pretty bad. So <laughs> the fact that I'm standing on this board and you know, paddling away, tells you a little bit something there. <laughs> But uh, no, so you can definitely learn on this board. Um, the conditions that I would use these boards are definitely something like this, where you're in the lake. It's actually a beautiful day here, Bunsen Lake. So calm conditions. Um, I am not sure about um, windier coastal condition type conditions, you know, where there's more waves, there's more surf. So I'm not too sure how this board would handle. I, my old board had a pointy nose, just like this tower one. And I found that the waves really swayed it one way or the other. So I'm not gonna say that this board does the same thing cause I haven't tried it out yet, but I'll let you guys know, or I'll link it into the video. And now we are going to put back together the tower yachtsman. So first thing you do is take the fin out, simply pinch the pins, squeeze it out, so, out, push it out, there's the fin. Next, face the board down. Off, and then you just press this little pin and then you twist it. You start from the front of the board, you start rolling it up. And as you're rolling it, you deflate the air out of it. What I like about this material is you can really roll it tight, which is pretty nice. Air out as possible. And what you want to do is you want to make sure the pin goes back up. So whenever you are refilling it, you don't want it to leak air again. 
just grab the strap. Make sure that this guy goes back in to cover the pin. It's tight and there you have it and now we'll go through the things that I liked and disliked about the tower yachtsman so one of the things I really liked is the design it's clean looking love the deck pad finishing really it's a, one of the best looking boards in the tower lineup if not the best and then you also have the tower brand name which is a very big brand so it has a lot of customer service behind it which is good it's also very rigid it's one of the original six inch sups that so they make sure that they put a lot of their resources in that technology uh, I like the maneuverability as well when I was on the board um, you're able to just do sweep strokes now having said that when you were doing those sweep strokes the stability kind of suffered a little bit so this is a good board to use when you're on the lakes on the water you know very calm water conditions in things like ocean conditions it's a little bit trickier to stand on the board because of the pointed nose and the waves seem to like to push the nose a little bit so that gives you a little more wiggle room which you know creates a little bit less stability some of the things i didn't like is in my opinion, one of the most obvious things is the deck store, the lack of deck storage. Now you can probably put your own thing together, but I really don't like how they didn't include any bungee stack deck storage in the front or the back. Most standard boards, even Amazon boards have them. So I'm not sure why they didn't use that as a feature for this. And like I kind of said already, the stability, in calm water is good, but I wouldn't use this as like an ocean touring board by any means. This is more of like a beginner starter board for people who want a board that kind of grows with them a little bit, but I wouldn't put it in the same category as iRocker or Nixie for that matter. In terms of warranty, the Tower Yachtsman comes with a 30 day money back guarantee or return policy, whatever you want to call it and a two-year warranty now the two-year warranty covers abnormal manufacturing defects but it does not cover the accessories and any dam outside damage that might happen to the board like you scuff it on a rock but in my experience inflatable paddle boards are pretty tough and it's very rare that you actually do have these defects but it's just nice to know the warranty is the tower yachtsman the board for you i say it depends if you have a boat, you're on a budget, or you're a beginner, this is a pretty good board to use. Now, if you're a little more of an advanced paddler, you might see some limitations with this board. Especially if you like doing touring, because there is no bungee deck rigging, so you can't put a lot of your stuff on there, which means you might just have to wear the backpack, which gets a little bit of a hassle. So overall, this is a good board for beginners, budget, but I wouldn't recommend it for more advanced users. Thanks for listening to the review. This is Derek from Inflatable Sup Authority. Be sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.